Well, mailbag time again. Now I've got more stuff coming. I've already got another package which I'm going to add on to the back of this. So yeah, there's going to be more. This is going to take a while. I'll probably split across a couple of mailbags, but we'll see. So let's see what we get. As always, there'll be links down below for things I'll give you links for. So we've got some gold plated cactus. Let's take a look at these. Three and two. Should be another one. Yes, there is. Look at that, almost lost one in the packaging. Obviously a banana jack for a little blonder. But it's got one of these little clips on it. So you shove the wire in there, like a quick connect. Stick it in. So if you've got bare wires and things, you can hook these up or use these as a very really quick solution. I saw these on AliExpress and I thought, hey, actually they look alright, I'll get some of them. I don't know how good they really are. So I think they said they were gold plated, but I don't know, is that brass? It could just be brass. I don't know. It could be gold plated copper or something. I, I really got no idea what's in them. Let's find out. Is it steel? No magnetic. So, copper or brass, most likely. It may just be brass. Yeah, not too bad. Thought it might be useful. So, a bunch of connectors. I think these are all the same. Four connectors, which are supposed to be gold plated. Who knows? Again, magnetic test. Not magnetic. I mean, it doesn't look like gold plate to me, it looks artificial, it looks almost, I don't know, it does look like brass to me, but uh, so I'll give it a scrape or something, see if it comes out. Let's have a look. Mm hmm. It is pretty light. Probably aluminium based on the fact there's silver underneath. Aluminium. 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 Yeah, anyway. Not copper then. <laughs> but I was thinking about these for test leads. Now I do have some which are quite big. The actual cable entry is quite large on them. I want something smaller. But these are meant to go around binding posts. So you can stick on a binding post. Still trying to find some nicer ones. I mean these are okay but the fact that it appears to be aluminium not copper not the best. Oh come on. Oh it's gonna be Oh it's gonna be a disaster. Okay, real knife. Don't like using real knife. In this case it doesn't matter, but I like to use the rent knife. Excuse the voice if it's a bit funny sounding. I'm still sick. So got some connectors and some cable and some more clippers the eagle eye of you may have noticed there's three connections on this wire not two that's because it's a triaxial cable now there's different grades of cables there's coaxial type or actual proper triaxial so it's like two shields and then a center conductor or you've got twin axial which is like a, a pair of wires which is shielded I'm not quite sure which one this was I think this was a proper triaxial I am not sure I didn't actually have any triaxial cables at all so I got myself one these connectors same thing triaxial these are two lug types so he's got the twos there's this one this is like the old style all right so you have to be careful about mixing these up with BNC's because they are basically the same apart from having three connections so these are both twins yep so these are all two lug ones and these are three lug ones so these are what traditionally you use these days these have got three lugs so you can't extend use a BNC cable on it um, which is better but the older style equipment may have two lugs still which is why I've got some two lug ones so I've got these so I can make my own cables up and I've also got this cable itself as well so again I'm not sure if this was actually a triaxial or if it was a twin axial um, a twin axial is not as good as a triaxial because you can get some triboelectric effects by moving the cable around and stuff like that so it's not as good but the actual cable is still better than a BNC it's a step up but not quite as good as a triaxial triaxial is the ultimate one um, that's what I want to try and make sure I've actually got I'll go back and look at the listing of this and see what I actually said it was I don't remember there was both types I was looking at so here is a listing for this thing and it shows a picture of the cable so it is indeed a triax cable 
Now it says PTFA up here, but that's obviously been added on by them. If you look down here, so it's got material and shield and stuff information down here. And material right there. See that? FEP. So that's what it's actually made out of is FEP, not PTFE. Now FEP is not quite as good as PTFE, so it's got a slightly higher leakage, but it's still better than PVC. So it's still an improvement over standard cable. Although it kind of sold as PTFE, it's actually FEP. And the other thing which is also makes it slightly more interesting, if you look at the conductor material, silver plated copper clad steel. Does that mean it's using steel wires which have been copper plated and then silver plated? Maybe. And there's the specs on the actual connectors themselves. So the brass with brilliant copper spring material apparently. And it's also got nickel, nickel and gold plated. So, hmm. Okay. And there's the cable set up. But then I also saw the same thing set up on other cables which weren't actually quite right. Yeah. So, anyway, here it is. So, another box of the same type, which has come from the same person, I'm guessing. Basically, this is exactly the same. So, this is another Triax cable. This one's a different type. Still a dual lug. This has copper alligator clips. And they look like copper, they look like some kind of fake rubbish. They do look like copper to me. So that's good. So here is the listing. Shows it all nice and clearly, which is good. Here's the information on natural crocodile clips. So it says say pure copper, maximum rating 10 amps. I mean, I'm not so sure about that on crocodile clips, but anyway. And then there's the configuration, so you can show you know what the actual cable configuration is supposed to be. Yeah, okay. That you think, okay, that sounds fine. Then you look at the next picture and go, what? Because it's double shielded, but it's a twin core shielded cable. It isn't the triax. So what they're trying to say for this isn't actually what's in the cable. So this is a twin X. Yeah. Watch out for that when you're buying stuff. Look at the detail. And also the picture shows a ferrite on the cable. We don't have one. So these cables are inexpensive, well relatively inexpensive for eBay, right? So they're much cheaper than like a Pomona cable for example. But that's why this compromises. This is not actually a Tri-X, it's a Twin X, which is still an improvement over standard BNC. And this is a Tri-X, but it may be a steel wire not a pure copper wire or is a translation issue thing I don't know but it's also FEP material not PTFE so this compromises in both these cables so although they're cheaper and they're on eBay they're not ideal but in my case they're better than nothing but that is also why I bought all these connectors so if I do get some proper cable I can make my own so this box here is from Ukraine as well gives you an indication of what's in it Well, different proof packaging. Here we go. It's a 10 mega ohm resistor. Now usually there's a cap that goes on the top of this, and this one doesn't have it. So it's got here 1993. So it's quite old. And here it says 1979. There's a date on it. So that's made 1979. It's almost as old as me, this thing. Let's hook it up to something and see if we're getting sensible readings. Just make sure it's not like completely open or something. Although I doubt it is. Well, put it up to here. You're getting exactly 10 meg. That's promising. Can I do high res on this? I can. And being near it, look, triboelectric effects and interference effects from me being bright. I'll sit back a bit and stop moving settles down again so yeah it looks promising looks like it's going to be right obviously when I'm not sure unless I put it on my better model meters but uh, first indication is looking promising
So if you notice, Ginger Cat here on me, she's got eye things like this around here. Right? This is not my cat. But it's worse than that. I have two. Both not my cat. Another box. Now, I've got a problem with this one. Um, it's best if used by the 11th of August 2025. Well, that was, you know, a week ago, a week and a half ago. So, I think this product's expired. I hope this test gear is okay. So, let's try and get into this thing. Oh, I've got to use real knife. So, there's the item in there. So, we've got this paper pack here on the top. And hardly anything on the bottom. We have a couple of lads bubble wrap, nothing on the sides apart from that. So, packaging is not good enough. I mean, there's the corner. Oh, I can hit the corner directly there. So, not properly packaged, not happy with that. Certainly doesn't meet my criteria of 100ml of packing right round it because I did it on the front and the back. Very much a uh, half-assed effort, I would say. Yes, they put some effort in, but no real good enough. Not, not good enough at all. Anyway, this is the back of it. It's got the feet, and there's the front of it. Dirty. No, it's not really coming off, it's just old grime, I think. Gen Rad, but this has been called General Radio. 1432. 1432p. So it does 10 ohms up to 100k. Now, this is kind of a duplication of another one which I purchased already, which is, this is a five decade. And I've got the 1433b, which is a six decade, which covers the same range as this. I bought this thinking I might need spare parts. You know, because if you've got a bad resistor in one of the other units, I could swap the resistors around or something like that and just repair one. So I think of it as a spare. And it's relatively cheap. Gummy, gummy. What am I for, alright? That feels nice. Gummy. That feels alright too. So it looks like they've been using 10 ohms and 100k most of the time. These three, not so much. Um, but they move at least, they're not frozen. So let's just stick a meter on it and see what we're getting out of it. Set to zero, we're getting 0.3 ohms, which is fine. Probably half of that is lead resistance and stuff. Let's go through each one. Let's see if it looks like you're okay. 10.3, yeah. 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, oh, missed one. Cat's going nuts, so I have to excuse the cat. <laughs> 8, 9, 2, 10, not looking good. There we go. Dirty switch. Yep. It's getting better and better each time. See it? It's kind of gradually coming down. Look at that. It's getting in here. It's almost there. Yep. Okay. That's not looking too bad. This is clean, obviously. Next one. I'm just doing like a preliminary just check to make sure that each selection is actually working. I know it's not particularly exciting, but I just want to see if they actually are okay or not. Yeah, that's looking really good, that one. Let's just go back to that one. Yeah. Okay, four. Do the switch on five, it looks like. Yep. Do the switch on six. Maybe I'll just uh, 
Let me through those a bit more. Six, yep. Few issues of switches, it seems. Nine's there, eight is there, but dirty switch. Ten is there, but dirty switch. Okay, what year is this thing? Does it say what year it is? I don't think it does, but I think this particular version comes from like the 60s or something, so it's quite old. It's older than me. So Having some dirty switches is kind of excusable and also expected. Yep, don't get there. Excuse my wife talking to the cat. Let's walk away, that brings him out too. Excellent, so it's all working, all the resistors are actually intact, just dirty switches, so brilliant. So I'll do a repair video on this thing, which probably isn't going to be that much, probably be a case of pulling it apart and to seeing how to clean the switches and maybe free the dials up a little bit I mean I might have to pull the shafts out of them to clean them I've done that before on another piece of gear put a bit of lubrication in there, a bit of silicon and uh, we'll see how we go but I mean they're not really too bad, they just feel different but yeah, anyway so I might do a video on this maybe let me know down below in the comments if you want a video on it